It's no secret that I like to help out the free-to-play noobs by making money-making guides and showing them how they can get out of free-to-play. In fact, I've done it a fair amount. In none of these videos do I ever go into detail about money-making methods that involve risk, PvP-wise. I don't go into detail about money-makers that grant no XP, even though they might be good. It's incredibly boring and probably not a good way to introduce a new player to the game. And I never go into detail about money-making methods that typically involve the grand exchange and potential loss of money if you do it wrong. But in this video, that all changes. Let's Let's try out 10 obscure free-to-play money-making methods first. Equipping our free-to-play fashion skate, boom, boom. Hopping world, let's get started. Actually, first, quick shout out to the Ridge Wallet. I've had this thing for a few weeks now before making this ad for it, and I can promise you this thing is fantastic. It's small, compact, looks great, feels great in your hand. I measured it up against my old wallet, and with the Ridge Wallet with cards and cash in it, it could fit into my old wallet four times. It feels great in my pocket, it holds all my cards and my cash. It's fantastic. And if you want to check it out and get 10% off today with the free worldwide shipping and returns, go to ridge.com slash dicers, that's ridge dot com slash dicers and use code dicers at checkout there's a link in the description thanks ridge for sponsoring back to the video starting at number 10 we've got obscure money making method in free to play buying alkarid kebabs karim's kebab shop with an alkarid sells kebabs for one gp each then you can sell them on the grand exchange for an incredible profit margin. So to get a rough estimate of the GP per hour buying kebabs for one coin and selling them on a grand exchange for 30 or 40 coins, I'm going to do this for 20 minutes, time it and see how much kebabs I can buy to get the GP per hour. And remember, this method has no requirements whatsoever other than having a couple of coins in your inventory. One inventory is about 940 GP profit. Sadly, the kebab shop isn't like normal shops within RuneScape. You have to go through the entire dialogue just to get one kebab. You have to do it 27 times per inventory is quite painful and quite boring. That's why I don't suggest stuff like this to new players. Within 20 minutes exactly, I was able to buy 378 kebabs, which means in one hour of doing this at this speed, which isn't incredibly efficient, but you know, I was active and paying attention, I could get 1,134 kebabs per hour. How much GP per hour is that? About 40.5k GP per hour. The kebabs I got in 20 minutes sold for about 14k GP, times that by 3, take away about 1.1k GP for all the kebabs I'd be buying for 1 GP each. That's about 40.5k GP per hour. Not very good, even as a no requirement money making method. Moving on to something hopefully better obscure money maker number 9. Buying Asgarnian ale, drinking it and selling the glass. But it's taking its sweet time to buy this ale, so maybe we'll just come back to it after the next one. Obscure Moneymaker free to play number eight. They do get a little bit more interesting the further we go in, but the early ones, they kind of suck, but it's collecting monk robes. This is one of many obscure money makers that give you absolutely no XP, but it's going to be a lot better than buying and selling kebabs because the robe bottom is worth about 100 gold and the robe top is worth about 300 gold and a full set spawn on the table you can hop worlds collect a set hop world collect a set hop world collect a set get a full inventory bank in edgeville rinse and repeat this does require 31 prayer however which is quite a pain to get in a free to play within a 20 minute period i got 70 of each robe which means in about an hour i would get 210 and although they didn't sell immediately after a short while they did sell for roughly 36 kgp which would bring collecting mug robes up to 109k GP per hour. Super easy money making method, you don't get any XP, you do need 31 prayer, but other than that it's quite simple and a decent rate for free to play, 109k. We've gone back in time to number 9, we bought all this beer for a dime. Actually quite a lot more than a dime, they're 50 coins each which was surprisingly high so that, let's hope that I actually do make money by drinking irresponsibly. Never before have I related so heavily to a thing in RuneScape. But this is it, this is for me. I could do this all day. The people here at the Grand Exchange must be thinking, what the hell is going on here? I eventually managed to sell all of the glasses for about 75 GP each, making about a 25 GP profit per beer, which would take my total profit per hour of drinking responsibly to 46k GP per hour. I was able to drink about 610 beers in 20 minutes, which would mean I can drink over 1800 beers in an hour. So far, monk robes have been the best, but maybe number seven will beat it. We're going to make yellow dye. 
This money-making method, much like drinking beer or buying kebabs, has no requirements except a little bit of starting cash, but hopefully it's a little bit more profitable. We've just bought a bunch of onions. Now, let's just make yellow dye for a good 20 minutes to see what the hourly rate could be. You could technically make any dye you like, but at the time of recording this video, yellow dye is the most profitable. It costs two onions and five coins to make a yellow dye, and I can sell them on the Grand Exchange for a cheeky decent profit. The dyes sold instantly on the Grand Exchange, I wasn't expecting that. And in 20 minutes I was able to sell them for 62k GP, but it costs about 19k to make the dyes. So we're looking at 43k per 20 minutes, that's 130k GP per hour. No requirement, free to play money making method, 130k per hour. That's pretty good. Do you like chocolate? Do you like dust? If you answered yes to either of those questions, this one's for you. This one's kind of boring and it kind of sucked, but it involved buying chocolate bars off the Grand Exchange, using a knife on them in your inventory, turning them into chocolate dust, and selling them back to the Grand Exchange. Within a 20 minute period, I was able to process 1,600 bars to make 24k GP profit in 20 minutes. That's 73.5k GP per hour. Not particularly exciting. Let's move on. Obscure moneymaker number five collecting red spider eggs behind me there's a manhole and within that manhole a sewer system beneath the rock and at the end of the sewer system oh look at that unit there's a bunch of red spiders who have red spider eggs lying about red spider eggs are used in herbivore making potions they're a pretty valuable resource so you can pick them up and make a decent amount of gp you could come here as a level three no requirements and pick up these eggs but there's higher level spiders that could easily kill you and it's faster if you can teleport to Barok, which I'm going to be doing. In about 20 minutes, I had done four trips, which netted me 96 red spider eggs, and we can sell them for just over 50k GP, which would net us about 150k GP per hour, take away the cost of some of the supplies, like the law runes that you use, and some of the energy potions. We're looking at about 140, 140k GP per hour, which is actually quite good and free to play, but there's things even better. Obscure money making method number four, selling feathers. Now we don't collect these feathers from dead chickens, but instead we get them from the feather shop. Yes, the feather shop. It's not the fishing shop anymore. People only use the shop to buy feathers. It's the feather shop. And the way we make money from doing this is by buying 10 packs of feathers at a time. No more, no less. And by the time you open 10 packs, the stock has fully refilled, you buy another 10 packs, you don't need to world switch. And eventually when you go to sell the feathers, you need to sell them for 3 GP each or higher. If you sell them for 2 GP each, which is the standard rate, you will lose money. But not many people buy them for 3 GP each, so it takes a while for them to sell. However, eventually, they do sell. Within a 20 minute period, I had spent 175k on 84,000 feathers. Selling them at 3 GP each, eventually when they do sell, I'd make 76.5k profit in 20 minutes, which means it is 230k profit per hour. Now that is a really good money making method for free to play, however, if people do end up doing this, it's less likely to work because the more people buying feathers and sell them on the grand exchange, the less likely they are to go for a higher price. And if you sell them for 2 GP each, you end up losing money, not making money. But this is a very good method to at least try out if you're free to play looking for some cash. It has no requirements, just some starter cash. Old school free to play money making method number 3. With this amazingly free to play outfit, we're going to head into the wilderness and we're going to telegrab at nature ruins off the little island where they spawn in the deep deep wilderness level 40 wilderness or something like that it's going to be dangerous not only because there's peak ears but there's also lesser demons in the area where i can telegram them so i've got some protective gear amulet of defense a bunch of swordfish and almost 200 law runes so i can cast the telegram spell i found a little bit where i can stand without getting attacked by the lesser demons to the south and i can still reach both sets of law runes one of the sets has three nature runes in it and the other set has four nature runes in it so that's seven nature runes per world i do have to hop a lot and I did see a single white dot in my 20 minute adventure up here in the wilderness. I was only here for 20 minutes, so there wasn't much opportunity to get PK'd, but luckily that one white dot didn't come to anything. I hopped world just in time before I even realized what it, who it was, if it was a bot, if it was someone else trying to make money, or if it was a PK, I had no idea. That's it, 20 minutes up, I got over 400 nature runes. Oh, my feathers sold. In 20 minutes, I got over 77k from telegrabbing nature runes, and if I buy my law runes back that I used, that's the only supplies used, I step away with over 62k profit per 20 minutes, which is over 185k GP per hour. Obscure moneymaker number two, this thing could be either great or terrible. I bought a bunch of plain pizzas and a bunch of anchovies, now we're combining them to make the world's most disgusting food. 
anchovy pizza. And the reason this could make a lot of money is because anchovy pizza is the best possible food you can have in free to play. In seven minutes, I made over 700 anchovy pizzas, which means in an hour I could make over 2,100 anchovy pizzas. But unfortunately, after selling the pizza and then taking out the cost of the base ingredients, I was left with only about 33 kgp profit for 20 minutes, which would bring, which would bring us to 100 kgp per hour. So making anchovy pizzas, sometimes one of the best free to play money makers, but not right now, not in the current time recording this video. And obviously saving the best till last free to plays best money making method, mining Ruinite rocks. Luckily on my main account, I recently got 99 mining, so this is even faster. There are only two Ruinite rocks in free to play and they're both in the deep wilderness right next to each other. This is a pretty heavily contested money making method in terms of peak years. However, there's also a lot of people trying to mine the Ruinite rock. So trying to find worlds where the rocks have respawned, it's actually quite tough, especially because they've got a 12 minute respawn time and there's only a limited amount of free to play worlds. There is a lot of peak years that show up at these Ruinite rocks. Luckily, I'm almost max combat level 126, 99 prayer. The only thing I don't have 99 is defense and I'm only like 96 or something like that, but I'm pretty darn tanky. I've got a lot of prayer points and people under level 80 can't attack me. I felt quite safe here, especially with the anchovy pizzas. And when I found a world where the Ruinite rocks were spawned, I would write down the world number in a notepad on my second monitor. And because I have a timer on the side of my screen, just so I can keep track of how long I'm spending here to get a good track of the GP per hour, I could count 12 minutes and then come back to the rocks as they're respawning and try and grab some more of them. Wait a minute, is he attacking me? No, thank God. <laughs> He's attacking the bot or the noob or whoever that is. <laughs> I think this guy and I, I don't think we want to fight each other. I think we would just want to mine the rocks. But he can't mine the rock. The spider's attacking him. This one's mine. Another free world. Another world with two ores spawned. I did not honestly expect to get this much ore so quickly. I've only been doing it for a couple of minutes and I've got almost 10 ores, which is actually quite a lot because they're worth a lot of money. But I guess it does require 85 mining, which is quite rare for any free to player to have. So I guess there's not that many people doing it. And there's a lot of peak ears as well to chase off any lower to chase off any lower levels. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the amount of rocks I'm getting, or sometimes getting. Luckily for me, the only peak ear who got even slightly close to slaying me started attacking me as I was basically done with the trip. If you get a peek at my inventory during this during this endeavor, you'll see that I filled up on a lot of rune. And I initially thought about sticking around to try and scare off the guy with my pickaxe because I can do a fair amount of damage. But then I realized, oh yeah, I've only got three pizzas left because I've been dropping all my pizzas to pick up ore so I should probably just bolt. It is free to play after all. It's not too difficult to get away. It's not like I can get ice barraged. In just under 20 minutes I mined 17 runite rocks which I sold for 188k and once I bought back some of the supplies that I used within that small amount of time and then multiplied my profits by three to get the hourly rate it was at over 500k per hour which is an incredible amount of money for free to play but I am almost maxed in combat, I have knitting mining, it's really hard to kill me, and if you're lower level, have lower mining, you probably won't get a rate as high as that in free to play. But you'd still get over 400k GP per hour at least. That's if you even want to get 8 to 5 mining in free to play, which I don't recommend. And that's it folks, I tried out 10 odd money making methods in free to play. Hopefully you might have learned something or found a money making method that you can do. I'd certainly recommend maybe monk robes or yellow dye or collecting eggs, feathers if you're kind of lucky. Telegrabbing nature runes is pretty good. Second best actually, mining runite rocks obviously the best but has a really high requirement. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, maybe comment, goodbye.